Good morning class, or good afternoon, depending which one you are. Um, I want to take a few minutes to explain what we'll be doing today. Um, we will be going outside to measure the height of the flagpole, but before we do that, I want to give you an example of measuring the height of a tall building. And I'll be showing you that later in the video. But first, let's take a look at a diagram of what this is going to look like. So we have a little man down here in the corner, and we have a big tall building over here. Now if we know the distance that that man is standing away from the building and we know the angle at which it creates to go to the top and to be right here, then we can use trigonometry to find the height from this point to this point. And if you can see there's a little section that we're not going to have so what we're going to need to do is measure the height of ourselves to our eyeball. So then we will add that at the end, then we'll get the total height of the building. So what we need to do is we need to look at how we can create a tool to determine this angle because we can simply use a tape measure to find the distance here. So what we need is just simply three things. We need a rope or a string with a weight at the end of it, a protractor, and a straw. And it's really simple. All we're going to do is put the string through the hole here, and you will all find the hole on your protractor, it's not very difficult, and you're just going to tie a knot. And what we have now is this. Now next, we'll put the straw on the top so we have something to look through. That way we know when we're looking at the top of the building. And we can take that angle and solve for the height of the building. So we're just going to tape that straw right on top. And this is just simply what it should look like, real simple. So now let's take some time and go outside and measure the height of a tall building. So welcome back class. Um, here I am at the building I want to measure the height of. As you can see it is a very tall building. Um, the reason I chose this building is it really serves as a great landmark. Uh, back in the day when my dad was a salesman he would see this building and know immediately he was in Wasion. So this is just really a gigantic building. Let me take a second to set up and we will figure out how tall this is. Okay class, I think we're finally ready to go. Um, I have a point picked out here. I measured it at 117 feet. So we know the distance at which I'll be checking the height of the building at. And we also need to keep track of the units we're using feet. So as we measure the height to our eyeball, we need to use that as feet also. And when we determine the height of the building, that will be in feet. Our units need to stay consistent. So now let's take a look at the protractor. If you can see, as I lay it level, it wants to read 90 degrees. You can see the wind plays a factor in this. So once you tilt it to find your angle measure, what I want you to then do is make this string as steady as possible. You don't want it going back and forth, otherwise you get a range of what angles you could possibly get. So, going back to 90 degrees, as we determine the height of the building, we're going to either get a reading below 90 or over 90. It depends how you hold it. But what we're going to be doing is taking the difference of the angle. So, for instance, right here, if I stop it at 40, then we would take 90 minus 40 is 50 degrees. So our angle is 50 degrees. And vice versa, if I hold it over here on 140, it's the same angle. It's 140 minus 90. So, the distance has already been determined as 117 feet, so all we have to do then is determine the angle at which we're viewing the top of the 